Hello, 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 it's Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is for off the board collaboration where all of us that are participating take something from our Pinterest account to Scraplift. I selected this one, which originally came from scrapbook.com, but posted over at Pinterest. This is a photograph of my little guy last year um, for his birthday. One of the birthday presents was that scooter. Here are scraps from my stash and some six by six papers. And then that 12 by 12 mixed media, pre-mixed media background is from Vicki Booten. Now I brought back the photograph to kind of get a visual in my head where I want the photograph to be and where I want my wonky arrows to be. All right, so the first step here is to get my pencil out get my different pattern papers and draw out some wonky arrows. Yep, I'm not using a ruler and even if I used a ruler, I wouldn't get it straight. I just don't have the patience to sit there and make sure, you know, I've got my ruler in each side, the exact size and everything. But if you notice in that sketch in the upper right hand corner, they are different shapes, lengths, and they even the arrows come out really wide at the end. So I mimic some of that as I draw out my different arrows. And then I will cut them out. And then I will ink the edges using black um, soot ink from Tim Holtz. Now, like I said, I'm using a lot of different scraps from my stash. And um, so I can't tell you all the paper collections were there where they come from, but I can tell you that on the opposite side of this one is Pink Fresh Studio with the white and the bright blues, along with, you can see in the left-hand corner, that plus paper, same thing. So here I'm showing you, you could get a ruler out, but like I said, I'll make sure, I'm showing you that I can make the line straight at the bottom and down the sides, but as far as the arrow part, I just don't have the patience. But anyway, it's not supposed to be perfect, and that is what gives your layout character and gives interest to your layout and makes it fun for the people that are looking through your album. All right, so why I am ahead of myself and you're watching me cut out these wonky arrows, let me remind you that we post on the last Wednesday of every month. And all the wonderful, fabulous ladies that are participating, I will have the links to their channel or their video listed below in the description box. Alrighty, one more announcement. In the month of July, Crystal is celebrating this collaboration by posting a layout a day for the month of July using inspiration pieces that she's posted to her Pinterest account. And then she has asked us ladies to participate whenever we can. And so some of us are going to participate once a week, twice a week, and they're going to be different days of the week. And like for myself, I'm going to post because I'm going to my schedule's really busy the first part of July, but from the 15th through the 31st, I'm going to be posting a layout a day. So I'll be doing 15, 16 layouts. And plus, everyone is going to try to put a post up July 1st for the kickoff. So isn't that wonderful? So be sure to share our channel, to be a subscriber, click that bell button so you receive notifications since all of us are going to be posting at different times in the month of July so that we so that you can be inspired all right to use items you pin from your Pinterest account or start your own Pinterest account and start pinning um, either sketches or layouts um, that you would like to scrap lift all right so back to my layout like I told you um, before I cut out all those um, arrows and I inked each one of them using the Tim Holtz Distressed Ink and Black Soot. So my largest arrow is straight and then I tuck the photograph under the large arrow and then I bring in the other arrows and layer them up. The only thing that I wish I would have did a little bit different is the blue arrow with the plus signs. I wish I would have left it over on top over to the left right there 
but I end up tucking it under that larger one with the wonky dots on it. But I'm happy with how the layout turned out in the end. All right, I'm gonna take this scrap paper and I don't even cut it down. I just tuck it under my photograph there to the right. I take that embellishment piece and place that there to add a circle. And then I took the square, the car I do not use. And now I am getting out my close to my heart stamp and I am going to stamp my title. Now you notice on in the beginning or go back to the beginning, the title on the layout that I am scrap lifting that I pinned to my Pinterest account, the title was on the bottom, but I decided to put it up by the arrow and I'm using blue sapphire ink from close to my heart to stamp out the word celebrate. Then the word you, I'm going to use that yellow there. I think it's called what? Uh, uh, saffron. Saffron, I think, is the color. And then another stamp, I use lagoon. And I don't know the name of the word because I can't tell as I am doing this voiceover because my screen is so itty bitty bitty and I don't have the layout in front of me. It's actually already put away and it's in another room. So I'm sorry that I can't tell you what I'm stamping out except for the colors because I remember the colors. And I will bring back the blue sapphire and stamp out some stars. I do single ones and then I have um, a row of little stars and I stamp those out. I'm going to see that in a minute. Oh, before I do that, I stamp out this diamond that says scenic route. And again, that is all those stamps are from close to my heart. If you want to know um, the codes, you're interested in purchasing them, leave a comment below. I am a consultant, but that's not what this video is for, is push, pushing that. But I do love close to my heart products. I'm not going to lie about it. All right. So now the puppy stickers that I'm using are from Pink Fresh Studio, a collection called Super Cool, and that was released in 2019. So I've got an arrow there. I put a bike there to fill in the little gap over there to the right-hand side. And then I'm going to put that one that says Go. And in the end, I bring a wood arrow, and I paint it orange because that one arrow is orange. But you'll see that in the end. I'm bringing in my splatters again, and I am using, I forgot to mention earlier, it's called Plain Jane Simple Sheer Matte Mist in Teal. My layout's complete. That's what I scrap lift. Thanks for stopping by. If you're not a subscriber, be a subscriber, give a thumbs up, and share my channel. See you next time. Bye.